Hi, and welcome to the training video for the Savvy Tech Access Control Unit. Today we're going to go over how to wire the physical modules to the unit itself. <laughs> the first step is to mount the control unit against the wall, and after that you're going to connect 12 volt DC power supply to the unit to supply power. Make sure that your 12 volt DC power supply is at least a minimum of 2 amps. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the different card readers to the unit itself. There's various ways that you can register a user. One is to use a fingerprint reader where a person places a finger and it scans the <laughs> fingerprint. The second method is to scan an ID card. And the third method is to input a passcode. Each of these units can be wired to the access control module uh, via different ways. One is known as the Wigan protocol, which uses six wires and can travel a shorter distance. The other method is to use the RS-45 protocol, which in this example that we're using, uses five wires only and can travel much longer distances, which is actually the preferred method. As you can see here, there's different green terminal blocks here. The one that's closest to the LAN port is actually known as reader one. So when you connect your readers and you program it into the smart PSS, just keep that in mind, the order that you connected the readers to. Here, you'll see that there's an RS-45 positive and a negative. The purple wire goes to the positive and then the yellow wire goes to the negative. The blue wire from the reader goes into the case connector. The red wire goes to the 12 volt positive and the black wire connects to the ground. As you can see, it's pretty much straightforward. The other methods is to connect the output door locks and the door exit buttons, for example. When you connect the different readers and you program all the different information into the Smart PSS software, whether a person scans a card, a fingerprint, or inputs a password, the door will lock or unlock. The other method is to actually just push the door exit button to physically make it unlock manually. That will be connected to the push button one and the ground connector here, as you can see. The electric door lock that you see down here is actually connected to the NC1 and the COM1 port. Again, you will notice that there's a separate pair of wires also connected to a separate power supply to supply voltage to the electric door lock. One thing that you want to keep in mind is that constant power has to be supplied to the door lock in order to keep it closed. If power is cut off, then the door lock will be released. It's also good to know that because in case of emergencies, if the programming does not work, then cutting power to the door lock will be able to release it to allow people to exit the building. Our next series of the video will be to show you how to program all the different readers and the door locks into the Smart PSS. Thanks for watching.